Greetings, literature enthusiasts. In today's episode, we are going to explore Charles Dickens' classic, A Tale of Two Cities. Set against the backdrop of the French Revolution, this timeless novel is a riveting account of tyranny, sacrifice, and redemption. We'll be discussing the story in detail, analyzing its deeper implications, and wrapping up with some final thoughts. So without further ado, let's embark on our journey through Dickens' epic tale. A Tale of Two Cities opens in the year 1775, with an omniscient narrator painting a picture of the age, fraught with contradiction, contrast, and paradox. This is an era of wisdom and foolishness, a time of belief and incredulity, a season of light and a season of darkness. The narrative spans two cities, London and Paris, which become symbolic counterparts embodying order and chaos respectively. We first meet Mr. Jarvis Lorry, an employee of Telson's Bank, and Lucy Manette, a young woman who believes herself to be an orphan. They're on a journey to Paris to retrieve Lucy's father, Dr. Alexander Manette, from his long incarceration in the Bastille. The doctor, broken by his imprisonment, is found in a state of despair, engrossed in the mechanical activity of making shoes. The scene shifts to London. Five years later, Dr. Manette is slowly recovering under the care of his daughter, Lucy. We are introduced to Charles Darnay, a French aristocrat who, disgusted by the tyranny of his class in France, has chosen to live in England under an assumed identity. There is also Sidney Carton, a lawyer who, despite his intellect, is a hopeless alcoholic with seemingly little purpose in life. In a trial, Charles Darnay is accused of espionage, but thanks to the brilliance of Sidney Carton, he is acquitted. Following the trial, Carton, Darnay, and Lucy form a peculiar friendship, complicated by the fact that both men are in love with Lucy. Despite Carton confessing his love to Lucy, she marries Darnay, and they have a daughter. Meanwhile, in France, the tension between the nobility and the peasants is simmering, ready to explode into the chaos of the French Revolution. In Paris, the abusive and arrogant Marcus Street Evermond, who is actually Darnay's uncle, is murdered in his sleep by a peasant whose child he ran over with his carriage. When Darnay receives a letter from his former servant, pleading for help, he decides to return to Paris, oblivious of the revolution that's about to engulf the city. Upon his arrival, Darnay is imprisoned by the revolutionaries as an emigrant aristocrat. In London, upon hearing about Darnay's imprisonment, Lucy, her daughter, and Dr. Manette decide to travel to Paris. Dr. Manette uses his status as a former Bastille prisoner to protect his family and to attempt to free Darnay. But in a cruel twist of fate, Darnay is denounced by Madame Defarge, a vengeful revolutionary leader who knits a register of those destined for the guillotine. She happens to be related to the peasant family ruined by the Evermonds and is determined to exterminate the entire lineage. Despite all efforts, Darnay is sentenced to death. In a heroic and selfless act, Sidney Carton devises a plan. He visits Darnay in prison, drugs him, and swaps places with him, thereby offering himself to the guillotine. Darnay, Lucy, their daughter, and Dr. Manette, oblivious of the swap, manage to escape to London. In a poignant final scene, Carton goes to the guillotine, comforting a fellow prisoner with the promise of an afterlife. As he awaits his death, Carton envisions a beautiful future for the Darnay family and a France healed from its wounds. The novel ends with Carton's immortal lines, It is a far, far better thing that I do than I have ever done. It is a far, far better rest that I go to than I have ever known. A Tale of Two Cities is Dickens' exploration of themes like resurrection, sacrifice, and revenge. The story revolves around the idea of being recalled to life. Dr. Manette is restored from the abyss of madness, Darnay from his doom in the French courts, and finally, Carton resurrects himself through his sacrifice for Lucy's happiness. The character of Sidney Carton is perhaps the most compelling aspect of this novel. He is a study in contrast, an alcoholic lawyer, brilliant yet self-destructive, who finally finds redemption in sacrificing himself for Darnay, his double, and Lucy, the woman he loves. Furthermore, Dickens skillfully contrasts the cities of London and Paris, using them as symbols of order and chaos, civility, and revolution. He highlights the class struggle, showing the terrible cost of the French aristocracy's callousness and the mob violence of the revolution. The theme of duality is prevalent throughout the story. The two cities, the similar appearances of Darnay and Carton, and even the doubles within the character of individuals. The story is a study in contrasts, contradictions, and ultimately, the duality of human nature itself. 
A Tale of Two Cities is a profound study of love, sacrifice, and the resilience of the human spirit set against the backdrop of one of history's most tumultuous periods. Through Dickens' masterful storytelling, we bear witness to an era of wisdom and foolishness, an epoch of belief and incredulity. In conclusion, whether you're a newcomer to the world of Dickens or a devoted reader, A Tale of Two Cities remains an enduring testament to his storytelling genius and keen insight into the human condition. Thank you for joining us today in our exploration of this classic. We hope you enjoyed this journey through the streets of London and Paris and between the pages of this timeless story. If you appreciate these detailed book summaries and analyses, consider subscribing to the channel for more intriguing literary adventures. Until our next literary voyage, keep turning the pages and let the love for literature guide your way.